regular viewers of my channel we know I rarely use such strong words in a title but this guidance issued by the CAA to UK drone flyers is important and we all need to hear about it. What's it all about? Propellers. In today's quick video, we're going to be providing some key guidance issued by the CAA in relation to the propellers on your drones. Although I'm going to cover the guidance in full, there's one or two key points which we all need to keep in mind when fitting new props to our drones. So stay tuned and I will highlight them. I will also explain why you need to know it and how it could impact you if you do not follow it. Before we start, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeksvana. Here you will find a mix of drone and tech content, including drone rule change updates like this video. For more like this, you know what to do. As you might already know, the CAA has an online portal called Skywise. This is used to get essential information out to air users across aviation. You can select to receive updates from specific categories like drones. There's a link in the description where you can sign up for these updates directly yourself. Recently, the CAA issued one such update titled RPAS Loss of Control Propeller Detachment Recommendations. The update reads, the CAA has issued a number of recommendations to reduce the likelihood of RPAS propeller detachment. This guidance can be found on the CAA website and will be added to CAP722 in due course. The last part's important. The intention to add this to CAP722 means as drone flyers in the UK, we will all be expected to follow this. It continues, US operators and remote pilots in the open and specific category of operation should familiarize themselves with this guidance and make any changes to operational manuals and procedures where necessary. So this means you need to follow the new guidance when flying your drone in the open category, which includes the A1, A2 and A3 subcategories where most hobby flights take place. So what are the recommendations, including the one which we all need to factor in? Let's take a look at the CAA website. The link takes us to the updates about drones page. The update starts, the CAA has issued recommendations to reduce the likelihood of RPAS propeller detachment, which may result in the damage to aircraft, property or injuries. There are a lot of recommendations that you would expect, such as checking the props each flight, making sure that you really get in there and, and check for damage by manipulating the props not just a quick visual check. The recommendations also state to not mix prop types. Nothing controversial here. However, one other key point might be of more interest. Only use original or manufacturer approved parts. So what does this mean? Well, if you fly a manufactured drone such as a DJI, Parrot or Hubson, etc., then you will need to fit either the propeller sold by the manufacturer or one specifically approved by them. Looking at the latest manual published by DJI for the Mini 2, it specifically states that you should only use official DJI propellers. So it's unlikely that props from Amazon and other makers which are quieter or flashy LEDs and funky colors, etc., will be approved by DJI and other manufacturers. So check what you're putting on the drone before you fly. Now, one part which is important here is the fact that the CAA intend to add these recommendations to CAP 722, which is the primary guidance document for operation of unmanned aircraft in the UK. So adding this guidance to CAP 722 means we as drone flyers need to follow it. In terms of what it means if you do not follow it, if the worst case scenario occurs and your drone loses a prop or crashes into something and it is found not to be fitted with props as per this guidance, then you could be looking at an issue under good old article 241, for instance. There you have it, the full details of this important Skywise update from the CAA. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can find more information on the UK drone rules within our playlist, which is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, Sean out.